So you want to sell something on Facebook Marketplace before you move to another country. Maybe you have a lot of anxiety about your move. Well, in this video today, I'm going to talk to you about how I use Facebook Marketplace, how I use it, like actually technically how the setup is, and hopefully by the end of it, you're not going to think of me as a jerk as I tell you about how my selling story went. What's up guys, this is Josh with Expats Everywhere, and like I said, we're going to walk through the steps of how to set up Facebook Marketplace to sell something, especially a car, since that's what I did, and it was my first time doing it, and then I'm going to tell you the story about how it went using Facebook Marketplace. So a little testimonial, not being paid by Facebook to tell you about this, but this was a video that you guys wanted to hear me do, so here it is. Now, if you go onto your Facebook, if it looks anything like mine, you're going to go onto the home page, especially if you're on a desktop or a computer, and you're going to see on the left side, you're going to see where it says Facebook Marketplace. Click on that, and then you're going to see a plus symbol, and then it says something like Create New Listing. You click on that. Now, at that point, you're going to be able to select what you want to sell. The second option on my Facebook is to sell a car. So if you click on to sell a car, you're going to be at the page where you can enter all the details about the car. Now, in my opinion, be as descriptive as you can be about this car. Obviously, you're going to be putting in the year, the make, the model, the condition it's in, the mileage. I would recommend you take some nice photos. Make sure that you wash the car, get it nice and clean, and also vacuum the inside. You really want to put pictures out that look nice but you're obviously not going to try to like fool anybody with this car. Take as many pictures as possible too. I think that the app and Facebook in general just will let you show up to 20 pictures. Use them all. I took these pictures with an iPhone 7. They were fine. Different angles, all sorts of things. So after you get all that set up, it should take anywhere between five and 10 minutes, depending on if you're doing it on your phone or if you're on a desktop. If you're on your phone, maybe it takes a little longer, you know, text mode with your thumbs. If you're on a computer, it's probably a bit faster and you're able to spell check a bit easier. So the first time I did it, and I did a setup twice because I had a problem and I'll tell you what the problem is so you don't make the same mistake. The first problem I had was when I was on my phone, the Facebook GPS, pegged me to a town in the panhandle. Now, if you guys know my wife and my story, we were living back in central Florida, so we're not in the panhandle, right? The address that we had was in Longwood, Florida, which is just north of Orlando. Now, for whatever reason, the GPS on Facebook kept pegging us to a Longwood road in some town in the panhandle that I'd never heard of. So whenever I went live with our listing, people in that area were the ones that were trying to contact me to buy this car. And I didn't recognize it until someone said, hey, where can we meet? And I GPS where they were, and it was like four hours away. Oh my goodness. So I had like 20 messages at this point, people willing to pay asking price and everything for the car, which we listed it at $1,500. And... I was, I was stoked, but then I found out what the mistake was, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to have to cancel this, and then I switched the direction of where the car was listed. So I had to go through the whole setup again, no worries, did that. Now, in that process, when I went live, I made sure this time that we were pegged to the correct address in Longwood, Florida, right? Cool. I was fed up that night and I just closed my computer. The next morning I woke up and I had like 40 messages. In total, I had 51 people looking to buy this vehicle. Now, some people, and I think about half for me, they weren't really qualified. All they were doing was asking if the vehicle was still available. And then I would say, yes, it is. And I'd never hear from these folks again. Weird. Some people were wanting just to ask a bunch of questions. They hadn't even read the description, so I was having to reiterate things. But then I found a handful of people, like a half dozen people who were serious. One guy contacted me fairly early in the morning and was really excited. I was like, look, I want to take this vehicle off your hands. I was excited because I was like, I'm definitely ready to get rid of this thing. He's like, I'm going to pay you cash, $1,200. Will you take it? And I was like, well, I said that I only wanted cash anyways. I don't want trades or anything like that, which is a thing on Facebook Marketplace. That's a different story. But I was like, yeah, $1,200 and you can, come, you can come get it 
it's gone. It's sold. I'm selling it to you. So all day I thought I was selling it to this guy. Now listen to what happens. He tells me that he wants to meet and he's going to meet me where I choose the location. So I chose a Publix nearby. Now, if you don't know, a Publix is a grocery store. So I would recommend that you guys meet people in a public area where it's light outside. And yeah, it's just good safety measures whenever you're selling a vehicle or really whenever you're selling anything and you're having to meet someone that you don't know. So 930, I'm supposed to meet this guy. And then he messages me back and he said, his son has taken the keys to his car or the car that he was going to use. So now he's got to go to his son's work, get the keys, and then he's got to drive. Okay, fine. What time can you meet me, bud? He says he can meet at 11. It's coming up on 11 o'clock and I haven't heard from this guy. So then finally I message him and I'm like, are we meeting? Because I'm just sitting at home. I'm waiting to get the message from him to go to the Publix because it's super close. And he said, you know, he's having issues getting the keys so asks if he can push it back again. And then he tells me he lives in Ocala, which the address that he was at, it was going to be like at least an hour and 15 minute, if not an hour and a half drive. <sighs> okay, fine. And then he tells me three o'clock. I'm okay with that. And in the meantime, I thought, you know what? I have time to go get the oil changed. This guy's driving a good distance. I want to get the oil changed because it had been a long time since we had gotten the oil changed, a good six months, because during the pandemic, we just didn't drive. We didn't drive hardly at all, and it just had been a while since the oil had gotten changed. So I wanted to do that. So I took it to this Midas where I had already developed a relationship with these guys. And at the Midas, I'm talking to the manager and I'm telling him this story of like me selling the car. He's like, you know what? A couple of guys here might be interested in buying it. I thought, hmm, I'm just trying to get this thing sold. The technician comes back in. The manager tells the technician, hey, this guy's trying to sell his car. And the technician's like, how much? So I tell him and he's like, man, that's a really good price. And, uh, and then he thinks, ah, but I really want to buy this truck but there is another guy here that might want to buy it. So he actually tries to contact that guy. Well, in the meantime, I take a look at my phone and my phone's blowing up because the Facebook marketplace is integrated into the messaging system, which is another great thing about using Facebook marketplace as opposed to using Craigslist or eBay. It's all integrated. So if you have Facebook Messenger, which I'm assuming most of you do, super easy. You can just jump on there and message people back. Well, I jump on there and there was a guy I had been talking to earlier in the day and that guy said, you know, is the car still available? And I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, it is. Like this guy that's going to meet me at three, he's not bought it yet. I tell him, look, at this point, I'm so frustrated. I'm just looking to sell it to the first person who puts cash in my hand. Well, this guy is like, I want to come see it. I'm really, really interested. And he said, I'm here. And he tells me he's at Lee Road. A GPS Lee Road. In the meantime, I've told him where the Midas is. Lee Road in Orlando was like 10 minutes, nine minutes, I think my GPS said, from where I was. Geez, he's right around the corner, you know? So he ends up saying, I'll meet you in 15 minutes. And then he writes back a minute later, no, actually, I'll meet you in 10 minutes. I just looked it up to see where it was. So he comes and he takes a look at the car. He loves it. He's like, all right, I'm going to go get some cash. He runs to the ATM, comes back. In the meantime, I tell Kaylee, hey, let's sell this car, uh, bring the bill, of, the bill of sale, and we do it right there on the hood. We sell the car, and then I've got to call the other guy back. Man, that guy was mad. I mean, rightfully so. He said it was like 2.30 at this point, and he said that he was about 20 minutes away from the Publix. I don't know if that was true, but I do feel pretty bad that I sold it out from under him. But I was just trying to get the car sold. I was done. And uh, if you guys think I'm a jerk, let me know in the comment section below. I hope that you don't think less of me. But that's my story about how I used Facebook Marketplace to sell the car. In the end, I messaged everybody back with a copy and paste saying the car was sold. It was all good. It took me about 24 hours to get the car sold from when I had posted it to when it was sold away. And that's it. That's my story about how to use Facebook Marketplace.